Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another episode of Craft Room Cleanup. And if you guys are a long time subscriber, you might have recognized this sort of thing. If you've also been watching my videos recently, you might know that some of this stuff has been out for some other videos. So if you're intrigued by anything you see in the side sections of my video, the video is probably already out or on its way out. So if you're looking forward to seeing more videos from me, be sure to subscribe. But today we're doing craft room cleanup yet again. I need some desperate help. I'm on a slower train. Now that I know my videos are scheduled ahead of time, it is the beginning of September and I still have the second episode still hasn't come out. Uh, I just kind of had to schedule them out, kind of blocking them out. One, because I know a lot of people don't have a lot of time. So I want to make sure if they're doing this along with me, they have enough time to develop what they need to develop to get through each section. So, if you don't know what craft room cleanup is, I have an intro video all about it which I'll have linked down below as well as the playlist because there are other episodes by the time this one comes out. I don't anticipate this episode to come out until the end of September or maybe October. I know it's kind of crazy. I just have a very busy upload schedule this month for some odd reason and I don't I'm not sure why. But I'd like to start by reviewing our goals or at least my goals for this project, which I have written nicely over here. One is that everything has its place. Two, essentials are within arm's reach. Three, different stages of projects are organized, which I explained more in the first video. Four, easy accessibility to my other crafts, which if you guys don't know, I love doing other crafts besides scrapbooking and card making, so just trying to dabble in those a little bit more. Number five is enough desk space, which as you can tell right now, I have a crap ton of crap around the outside of my desk and it just needs to change. And six is better inventory system. So those are my goals. Still working on them. Obviously, it's a group effort. You have to do each little section at a time. But I stumbled across this again. I used to use this unit, as you can tell. It has little labels on it um, for die cuts and a bazillion other things. And as I was walking by, I kind of thought how this might be a solution to some things I'm having some issues with. Um, furthermore, like my wood veneer on the opposite side of the room right now, but I used to use them on every single layout. So I'm wondering what if I put them in here? These are just little drawers. Some have dividers. Oh, look, an eyelet still in here. That's so sad. That poor little eyelet's been in there forever. And I do have a drawer for this kind of stuff right now. And I'll show it to you. It kind of comes out. But it looks like this. Now, I like the idea of having this drawer. It sits right beneath my desk right now. And obviously, some of this stuff I don't use all the time. Scrabble letters. I don't think I've ever used these on a layout, but I really should. They're kind of adorable. I got those in a rack once. I didn't actually take them from a set. Someone else did that. That's not my sort of thing. I've reached for my brads more since I can see them as soon as I open the drawer. Um, these are really annoying, but I've used those more. Paper clips. I have a crap ton. This resin flower is not supposed to be there, but whatever. Then there's things like flares, wood veneers, like I mentioned, that could go in one unit like this when I'm looking for a tiny embellishment and just, you know, sort of rock my world. So what I think we're going to do in this episode is tackle tiny things. Um, we haven't tackled my desk yet, it's still quite the wreck, um, especially since I've just filmed quite a few videos today, so I'm thinking that we're going to tackle tiny things, things that I want to use on a majority of my layouts. Um, some tiny things we aren't going to tackle are enamel dots, so I already have those taken care of in here. These are rhinestones, gems, enamel dots, they all fit right in here. Um, my sequins are elsewhere because I'm on a sequin design team, if you guys didn't know. Um, I'm on the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team, so all my sequins are elsewhere, which Again, we'll tackle some other time probably, um, but those are there. But like things like my resin flowers, I have to get up to get, and I really hate that. So I'm wondering if I can incorporate this onto my new desk layout. So I think what we're going to do today is try to kind of fill this in and then see where it takes us. But first, I'm going to clean it. So I'm going to go clean it, maybe try to rip these guys off. But it looks like they might come off fairly easily. If not, I'll just relabel over them because... This is just such a unique drawer set. I don't remember where we got it. I don't think there is a brand name on it. Also, you can tell how dirty it is, and I'm very sorry about that. Um, <laughs> it's had quite the life of sorts of different lives. Um, and I almost just lost all the drawers. But anyway, um, we're gonna try to use this. Also, the drawers don't fall out all the way, so that's good news. Um, it seems that there's a WT sort of logo on all of the drawers. And again, this is probably super loud. And again, I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, but this is what I'm gonna try to use. Ooh, that's so loud and I'm probably burning people's earbuds off. But I think this is what I'm gonna try to use. Um, I wonder if, 
Ooh, also, sorry. Like maybe putting washi tape in here? Like how great is that idea? Friggin' great, I hope. Maybe. I guess we're getting started now. I don't think it's gonna fit all my washi tape, but I'd like to open up my spinner organizer for something that actually fits well in it because these do not fit well in it. As much as I'd love them to, they do not. Um, so maybe putting all my taller washi tape in here. Um, I don't believe uh, in sorting by color for washi tape, mainly because if I did that, I would just use the colors that I love. And that's kind of, you know, mean to the other colors. So by not sorting by color, I can uh, hopefully expand my reach. Also, I have a lot of pinks and mints right there, but that's because that was in my last kit. Um, and that's how I put them away. But I think this is going to hold a lot of my washi tape. Which, if you guys know, it's my goal to use washi tape on every single layout this year, which I have missed a few, I will admit. Um, I'm not perfect, but for like design team projects, it's kind of hard to use something that they didn't make. You know what I mean? I still include it on some of them because they allow me to do that. And they're so nice about it. Um, mixing and matching uh, brands and stuff like that. But it concerns me that this will not fit all my washi tape, actually, the more that I think about it. But I like how it will keep it at bay compared to this circular organization that I had before, which I don't think I ever really showed except on my Instagram stories. And if you're not following me over there, Instagram stories are my jam. Um, I go on phases with it on and off because, you know, that's just how everything is or it seems to be with life. You go in phases. Some days I love it, some days I hate it, etc. So this one doesn't really fit well in the front, so I'm going to switch it out for a smaller one. Um, I'm trying to wait to use all these. I have a lot of tiny, like, smaller rolls of washi tape, so I'm kind of not picking those out. And then I'm also kind of purging as I go. Um, I purge washi tape pretty frequently. I look at it and then I hate it for a while, so then I just get rid of it. It's just how I work. Um, it looks like I'm going to be able to get a third row in. Hallelujah. Um, because I have crap ton more. I still have two more drawers that aren't even in my organizer currently. Um, but it looks like I'm going to be able to fit a couple across the back here as well. Um, because it doesn't, like, you know, snugly fit. But guys, look how great this is working out. I love that I just had this idea. I originally wasn't going to tackle this today, but... It looks like we have a new project on our hands because it just kind of happened this way. So we also have an awkward fit there, so I'm going to have to fit another one there, maybe. Well, that one's on the floor now, so it's not going to fit for now. I'll go get it later. <laughs> have I mentioned how I want to make a lazy scrapbooker video? Because I desperately need to because I'm the laziest scrapbooker that I know. Um, but I'm sure there's more of us out there. So if you're listening to this and you think you're a lazy scrapbooker, don't worry. I, I am too. It might not seem like I am, but I am. Okay, so we fit like three containers or three sections of my washi tape in here. I'm going to take all the thin ones out and shove them in the back for now because I know that these ones can fit back there. And if I need thin washi tape, I'll come find it. Um, let's see. This one's really, really thin. This one's also really, really thin. Okay, it won't fit though. That's fine. So I'm trying to find a room for this little chubby guy here. Okay, heck yeah. So I do have some room. So I have some washi tape up here, actually, in these blue drawers, which, again, I haven't addressed my washi tape conundrum as of yet. That is my desk washi tape, because whenever I'm scrapbooking, I can't pull it open because it's too... It's, like, in the way of what I'm currently working on, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm just going to pull one out, hopefully. Like, I can barely see into this, but that's okay. Okay, Christmas washi tape. It's not going to fit. It should also go in my Christmas box, but that's fine, too. Um, let's try one of these. I mean, this little... There we go. Got one in there. Guys, how amazing is that? I could fit more on top, um, but I also have to take all this off so I can clean it. So that's kind of annoying. So how about I go clean this, and then I'll come back, and we'll discuss what else I want to put in here. Okay, sound good? And if you guys are looking to make some changes, start with your tiny stuff. Maybe that'll make the biggest difference in your scrapbooking. So I'll be right back. Okay friends, it is the next day now. I had to let all that stuff dry after I washed it last night, but we're gonna start diving in. I pulled out a bunch of stuff I think I wanna put in these little drawers, a bunch of little things that I think I'd want at hand's reach, which of course is one of the goals we're tackling. Um, I have a little pile of washi tape over here I still have to address because it didn't fit in my big drawer. I have my wood veneer down here, kind of under this tray. Oh my God, imagine if I dumped this, that would be the worst thing ever. Um, I have flare down here, I have a bunch of bits in here. So what I think we're gonna do to get started is move this because it terrifies me. I'm gonna put it in my lap, which also probably a bad idea. So I know I have wood veneer that also won't fit in these. I have some that are very large, like these. Also, this is probably a little annoying because it's shiny. 
Um, so focusing might be a little bit of an issue later on, so let's hope it doesn't, but I have wood veneer in a bunch of different places, including this bag, and then we have flare. Um, as for the cleaning aspect, okay, let's not do that. As for the cleaning aspect, everything went well, um, except trying to get the labels off. That didn't go very well, so I think I'm just going to leave them on and cover them up later or something. We'll find out. But the washi drawer is pretty full. Um, I didn't organize it by color because I'm more likely to pick a different color if it's not by color. Do you know what I mean? So right now this is just a little washi drawer. Again, I hope it's in focus down here, but I'm not 100% sure. So we have four very large drawers and then let's see, 5, 10, 50, 20 small drawers to fill. So I'm going to pick, so I don't, th I think all the flare will fit in one drawer, but I'm also not 100% sure. So let's try it. I'm going to pick one out. Just a little drawer. And this is going to be loud because this is metal flare. Well, I can't buy any more flare, that's for sure. Um, so while I was going through this, I noticed some Halloween ones, um, which is my current obsession with trying to use up right now. Um, I'm just going to throw that one in my little bucket over here of things I want to try to use recently. Um, but for now, flare, check. Okay, so not check, that one got stuck. So we need to even them out a little bit more. Flare, top right. Good. I have some more flare in here, actually, that I need to get rid of and put in there before I forget. There. One done. We're doing great. Again, I love using flare on layouts, but I haven't been using it as much as I used to because they're kind of far away. Now, this little bucket might be a problem. These are enamel, enamel? Acrylic. Acrylic shapes. I'm going to put it in this one. And what I think I'm going to do is take out all the big pieces and maybe put those in their separate one. Only because I don't even think all the flowers are going to fit. So I'm going to take out all the resin and acrylic pieces that are not flowers. And possibly put them in a different one. Because we have a lot of acrylic here. Slash resin. I think a majority of it's resin. And again, purging pieces that we don't want, of course. Again, this is going to be pretty loud, so turn down your volume, probably. So there's adorable heart pieces that I never get to use because they get lost within the flowers, so I'm trying to pull those out as I see them. So I can put them in the other bucket, which it's okay to have two buckets for one type of item. And of course, if you have a unit like this, and or if you're trying to find a unit like this one, it's definitely more of like in the hardware section of like a local store, not necessarily in a craft section, or maybe in the beading section. I know there's organizers for beads like this. Um, and what I really like about these drawers is that they come out. I know some drawer units have drawers that don't come out, which I think would be a little irritating sometimes. I have all my little flowers in one spot. Great. Now let's get another one out for the other bits. I'm just going to shovel these in here. I'm actually going to take this one out of its packaging because it's going to bother me. If I don't. This is just a swan from Click Kits. And then this also allows me room for expansion if I do buy other acrylic bits. Which of course... We know it will probably happen because I am addicted to buying things, but I need to use up more of these cameras first. I used to love putting cameras on my outs, but now like I overdid it and now I don't want to do it anymore. But it's just a trend that will come and go. Okay, there's another so I know there's some other bits in here that I'll probably want to take out, but this is kind of like a quick cleanup since um, now it's Monday and I have to get to work soon. I'm just kind of doing some of this now. And it's okay to leave craft room cleanup sessions um, if you have to go do something. I was doing a lot of stuff last night, so I decided to wait to do this today. There. Two more drawers full. Um, now, I think we're going to dive into wood veneer because that's something I really need to start using more on my layouts. Also, you see that I'm emptying containers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That made a lot of noise. 
Um, and I'm going to keep these. One, I think they're really beautiful. Um, but they're going to hold things that I don't use as often. Like, I thought it'd be pretty to put twine in here, like bundles of twine um, stacked up on my desk. Because I don't reach for those often, but it's more of a visual piece than, like, most other things. So, I'm going to start by pulling out the things that will not fit. <laughs> Looks, it fits. It fits. Okay, we're on a roll. I wish they'd fit standing up, but they do not. So that one does not fit. Fits. Okay. So now I'm running out of room because of this one. So maybe no for that one. Uh. So I do have some broken ones in here too. I hurt you. That's kind of cute. Good. Good. Okay, so we have a big wood veneer drawer, and then we have the extras. Don't know where I'm going to put those. Uh, that's not wood veneer. I have some broken letters, or words, I should say. I don't know where the O is, but we have shine. Hello. Pretend that goes together, and this one says faith. So I have all these little banners. Those are probably going to go in a small one. I think I'm going to make this little row here all wood veneer if possible. So these are banners. So I think banners, arrows are very similar shapes. So I'm going to put these ones in here and then find if I have any other similar shapes. Because I usually pick out things by shape. Um, usually. Then again, who knows. Um, so let me go through my little tubs here. See what else we got. Okay, we have a little thing of arrows. So I'm going to grab those. There we go. So let me grab couple more of these. Like I said, I want to make this whole row wood veneer. Oh my gosh. That probably just killed your ears. That was the worst noise I've ever heard. It's so one thing I don't like about some of these drawers is that they do make a lot of screechy noises. Um, so that's something to get kind of used to. Um, I have a bazillion leaves. These are more like chipboard, not wood veneer, but they're going to go in here anyway. So we have leaves, um, I have a giant word, so maybe we'll make a word section, put these in there too, because they might be broken, but they still spell a word. Faith. And then I have another section of words actually in here. Again, some of these are broken, which again, can be super easily fixed on the layout itself. You just gotta make sure you glue them close enough together. So they look okay. Not sure all these will fit either. Which means I do not need any more wood veneer words. Am I right? Yeah. That's for sure. Okay. Little ones in the back. And then this kind of thing will come up when I use, like, start making my kits. Because I haven't been including this kind of stuff in my kits, like, at all. Um, so this is kind of important to do this so that you're more productive with the use of your stash. And I used to love wood veneer, guys. I used to use it on every single day out. And I kind of miss it, you know? I don't think they're all going to fit. This is so scary. This one's also broken in half. Okay. That one's full. Other things we have in here. I'm just going to pull them out so I don't have to carry this on my lap. I have typewriters, tabs, which might go in the arrow section. These are all, like, pastry shapes. I don't know. And I have a crap ton of Halloween, which should be in my Halloween pile. So I'm going to throw some of these into my current kit because i got to use it by Halloween. So this organizer that I'm emptying, you guys have seen before. This is by Plano. Plano? Don't know where it's from, to be honest. Don't know how I got it. It just showed up one day. And now I use it. Those would be assorted. Uh, let's see. Now, basic shapes in this one more. So, open it. So we're kind of dwindling on places to put them, I see. So I wanted a whole drawer for hearts because I have a crap ton of those. Uh, so those are going to go here. Here's another banner. Hearts. Oh, goodness gracious. Lots of hearts. And I don't know if I'm going to put anything back in this container set that I'm emptying. Um, I do have stuff in the other drawers. This isn't, I only have two of the drawers out currently, but I do have two other drawers that go with this set. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to put in those. 
Um, right now I have stitching stuff in one and then beads in another. So this might be utilized for like a different craft. Uh, but I really like them, so I want to keep them. And try to use them in my space. Oh no, I lost a heart. Oh no, it's in the bird section. We'll come back to it. Um, okay, there's one section of hearts down. I still have like one more, maybe two. Because I have different types of hearts. Um, I usually kept them separated for some reason. I don't know why. It didn't really make sense why. Um, then we have, I think we're going to have to expand. I don't think five drawers for my, or six drawers for my wood veneer is going to be enough, to be honest. I just don't think it's going to work out. So I think I'm going to have to grab a couple more out of here, which is fine. I'd rather it be useful than like putting, I don't know, stuff in there that will just get in the way. Okay, these ones are kind of annoying me because they're so small and I can't grab as many because they're so slippery. I'm like getting five at a time. This must be so boring to watch, but I hope you guys are scrapbooking or cleaning while you're watching or just listening. That's fine too. Uh, okay, so there we go. And again, doing all of this is helping us to utilize the one goal of putting things in arm's reach because I always want to use wood veneer, but it's never nearby me. So it's a little disappointing um, when I go to try to use it and I have to get up to get it. So I'm going to make this one like butterflies and flowers maybe. Here's the flowers, which maybe I'll end up peeling all these stickers off, but they started peeling just the front section off and then there were like multiple layers I'd have to peel off afterwards, which guys, I was not about to do that. That was going to be way too much time consuming stuff. More flowers. Now I have feathers and birds as well as one of my current categories down here in my lap, um, which I think might just fit in here fine. So we got some big feathers, which I'm going to try to tuck some underneath because they don't have to be up front. You know, I want to be able to dig through and see everything that's in here at once. Um, and then like I said, we have, then we have birds and geo tags, which just fell at the bottom of this. This is actually chipboard, not even uh, wood veneer, but they're wood colored, so kind of looks like they are. So some birds. And if you guys are wondering where any of these are from, just let me know and I can tell you. Uh, the birds are from Studio Calico, that I do know. I know they're very hard to find nowadays, which is a little sad, but that's okay too. You know, things come and go. Wood veneer was in. Now it's not so much in. Um, which is, again, it's fine. It's just trendiness, usually, that dictates what happens next in the scrapbooking industry. Okay, that one's kind of done. I have these little tabs, which are from Ellie Studio, so I'm going to throw these in my banner slash tabs, which means these go in there as well, if I'm putting tabs in. Tabs go with tabs. And again, these ones, little ones are from Ellie Studio. These colored ones are from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and again, I took them out of their packaging because it saved me a lot of, you know, annoyance for having those in my way. Okay, next up we need another drawer. I'm going to pick this one, I guess. And this little guy here is going to be uh, stars. Because I have a crap ton of those. Here's a big heart, which I forgot about. And I also have big stars. I should put some of these in now before I forget about them. And I have asterisks. I also consider stars because I usually mix them in with my stars. And then these are from Studio Calico. The asterisks are from Project Life, which I gave away one of those packs once, so that was pretty cool. That's kind of why I like stockpiling giveaway items because you can give away some really unique things later on. Like they'll go out of style and you didn't think they were going to, but then when I give it away, it's like, wow, this is really cool sort of thing. And then these are normal stars that I'm putting in now. Um, then we have a lot of random stuff. I think my cameras and typewriters are going to go together because I think that makes sense. Um, maybe with geotags as well since they're all sort of icons. And then I also have at signs, like a crap ton. Those came with the same Project Life set that I was talking about earlier. Um, so i got to find a spot for those. So wood veneer's kind of taken off this little drawer unit. Uh, not totally. We still have a lot of room left. Oh, there's a heart. There's a heart drawer. Okay, need another drawer. Like I said, typewriters, at signs, geotags, and cameras are going to try to go in this one, which we'll see how that goes. 
I'm surprised I haven't dropped one of these drawers yet because I figured that was going to kind of happen on, you know, on my video, that I'd spill a billion things. Um, but not yet, so far, at least. Like I said, I have a million at signs. <laughs> I was not kidding. There's a million of them. I feel like I've used them a couple times at least. Um, so I might purge some of these later on. Or if this drawer gets too full, I might just, you know, get rid of some of the at signs. Because they are kind of obnoxious. I wish they were like a tiny bit smaller. Not that they're not small already, but... I really like these cameras too, and they're from Studio Calico, which... What isn't from Studio Calico anymore? <laughs> According to this wood veneer haul. I bought them all when they went on clearance at... Um, I think it was Joyance that clearanced them out a while back. Um, and I bought a billion packs <laughs> because I was knew I wouldn't be able to find them again. So we have cameras, almost done with those. Just trying to get the last ones. And then we have some random things left, which I'll go over how I'm going to deal with those, I guess. Even though I don't know how I'm going to deal with those, so we'll kind of see. So last in this bucket are cats, dogs, slash sheep, numbers, birthday party, umbrellas, oh, another geotag, and then we have gifts. And we have Halloween over here, which I have a Halloween section for my embellishments, so I might just kind of, you know, group them all together. And then I have this to sort through, which maybe I won't do on video because, like, there's flowers and butterflies, so they obviously already have a section in here. Um, actually, I should start by putting some of these away because it's getting a little crowded down here. So I have new cameras, hearts, stars, words. Words is already having issues getting open. Okay, so we'll have to be careful with that one. That's okay though. Um, then maybe banners and arrows and things. There we go. Now I'll put birds. And now there's room in this leaf section. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this umbrella set down here from Jelly Bean Soup in there because it's got raindrops and flowers and stuff. And I'm not putting the flowers with the other flowers, mainly because I don't want to get them mixed up. And there are flowers in here as well, so it kind of works out. Um, again, don't remember where I got this jelly bean soup set. I know I bought it online, I'm just not sure where. But I know it was really cheap, so that's good news. Okay, and there's a bazillion little raindrops, which I've been meaning to use. And I also don't know what these are They're supposed to be. They remind me of those... Um, viewfinder things um, that I had when I was a kid or that are in Toy Story. <laughs> okay, there's like a million little raindrops and they're impossible to pick up. Okay, good. And I could also put in some of these items. Um, so that's like, these are just little tag pieces. I'm trying to sort them because there's like nature ones and there's like baking ones, which is weird. So these are animals, animals, and I have numbers, which I've used some of them, so maybe I should put them in the, not that one, in this drawer, because they'll fit, so, nature, not a lot's going to fit left in this one, so lastly we have all these bits, oh yeah, and I have these ones over here, which I almost forgot about, I have one arrow left, guys, one, so I think I'm going to put the diamonds in with the stars, which I already lost. Look at it there. This arrow is going to go in with the cameras. Then I have this little cat, <laughs> which was given to me as a um, rack. And then other than that, this one's empty. Woohoo! Another one done. I also pulled this out and I forgot about it, so I have one right there. So... These ones seem to all go together, and they'll fit in like one. Maybe they'll all fit. I don't really need three sheep. <laughs> um, so I'll probably get rid of some of those as well. Um, and then we have like birthday and bakery. I don't know if I should just make a whole drawer for that, but looks like we're going to. I put the ones that lay down nicely down first um, so that they fit nicely in this drawer. These ones are having issues fitting, which is 
only slightly concerning because it's going to be impossible for me to use these. Okay, there we go. We did it. So I have practically two whole sets full of wood in here, which is crazy, to me at least. Um, and then we have these little guys, which some of these are too big. Like I mentioned, some of them are going to be too big. Like these ones are too big. I'm going to have to put them somewhere else, which is fine. Um, so we can't have solutions to everything or else everything would be way too easy. So these were racked to me, this little bag of goodies, um, by Sharon. Um, a while back. So thank you again, Sharon. I don't know if you're watching this. I think it was in a Facebook group, so probably not. So I'm just going to sort it out um, really quick, hopefully. And the Christmas ones, as you can see, there were no Christmas whipping in here. That's because I have Christmas section for all of my stuff, which we'll touch on later because I want to redo that as well. What don't I want to redo is the question. <laughs> Feels like we're going to be redoing everything, which again, is fine by me. I like organizing and you guys probably do too. It's one of those things that comes with the hobby. Now some of these I'm going to get rid of because I know I'll never use them. Like this is a colored wood veneer that says note and I just know I won't use it. Um, it's got a vintage vibe so that'll just go in my giveaway pile. Not that I'm not grateful for but I'd rather pass it on to someone who will use it instead. It's a snowflake. That's a bird. I have a bird section. There's an owl at least. Okay, then with this big key. It's gold though, so it's pretty. Another snowflake, another owl, another flower. This one says live, love, laugh, which might be a home decor piece instead. We'll see where that ends up later on. Um, there's also a bunch of spiders in here, which I meant wood veneer spiders, not like real spiders. That would I would be screaming. Um, which I don't think I'll use, but again, I'm working on some Halloween stuff now, so maybe. I tried to use all of these um, gear pieces um, and it looks like I missed one, so I'm not just going to keep one. I'll pass that on too. Arrows go with the cameras. This key can go with like the numbers and stuff. That's fine. Now, I know I had a flower drawer, but I'm pretty sure there's other gunk in it. Yeah, we'll try to put these in here. So this is flowers and butterflies and birds, which I have now a million of. And I have some birdhouses too, which we might as well throw in there. Um, these owls, I think, are going to have to go in the other animal drawer. Which is this one. Mainly because they're so large. And this little fawn will go in there as well. And then the bugs too, because I don't like them. <laughs> but there's also some ladybugs, which are cute, so it's okay. So there's that. I'm going to get rid of these three for sure. And then I'll probably go back through this section eventually and go through more. So now we have some big ones to find a new spot for, which is okay, but right now we're just tackling the stuff we want really close to us. Um, Christmas goes elsewhere, and so does Halloween, so that's why they're out. And then these ones I'm going to give away, so I'm going to put those over there for now. So now we still have this drawer to tackle. Um, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11 tubs left. Paper clips, I think I'm going to have to go in the big tub here. Mainly because I have so many of them. Again, this is going to be loud. This metal on plastic is very loud. And this is other metal embellishments as well. It's just things I don't use and probably should use more often. Okay. And of course, I could have divided these out. You guys saw that there were dividers in some of the drawers, but I think it'd just make it harder to look for them later um, if I did that. So I'm just going to kind of mix these up so I have some of every color on top and stuff like that. And I did purge some of this drawer already, um, so that's why I'm not really looking through things right now. But again, if you're doing a craft room cleanup, you definitely should purge along the way. It'll help you in the long run. Try to get things in order the way you want them and to have the things that you actually want to create with, with you. So I have some metal bits back here. I'm just going to include like this giant key, which I probably won't ever use. And then we have some charms. This one's like a maternity dress or something, so I'm going to donate that to somebody else who could probably use it. Um, this is a stick pin, but it has an end cap on it, so I can throw that in there. Um, this says party. This is a brad, um, but it's really fancy, so I'm going to include that in there. These are those Tim Holtz. I, don't, I think they're called like linen pins. This is a jingle bell. We'll include it. I made this little uh, egg nest thing. 
again, this is kind of also other um, crafts. This is also another charm, which I used to do more mini albums. That's a pocketbook like purse, and I won't use that. These are plastic buttons, and I don't think they really belong in here, so we're going to get rid of those. This is a bead. I put that elsewhere. Um, this Brad says, Wish. I remember buying these, or getting these now. This one says party as well. Jingle bells. This is like a drawer knob. This is pretty, but I'm going to put it elsewhere for jewelry making. This one's also really big, and I know I won't use that one on a project, but I'll keep this other one in here. Um, again, more like jewelry aspects. This one's like a shoe. Again, I'll donate that. This is when I did like mini album swaps and stuff. These little baby pins I'm going to donate. They're plastic, but they're still really cute. Little keys. This little charm I'll put... I don't know. I don't really have jewelry making stuff, but I have some of that kind of stuff. This is actually a miniature locket, I think. I can see through it, so it must open. Okay, well, this definitely opens because it's starting. There we go. Miniature locket, which is really cool. So I'm going to keep those, just put them elsewhere. Another little key. Another linen pin or whatever they're called. And then another plastic button. So that's a majority of the metal elements. I also have this K that I need to use. Um, these vials of paper clips can go in here as well. I have these giant bobby pin pins. Um, breads will go in a different section. I have these gears, which are actually part of a kit that I'm using, so I'm going to put that there. I have these paper clips from Stampin' Up. Oh yeah, I also have this one. There we go. forgot they had two. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to dump these in here. They'll be okay. I really like this container though, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, but I think that's it for that one. That's a heavy drawer right there. Um, I found a piece of felt, which does not go over here. It goes over here. Um, these are Christmas slash winter. Christmas slash winter. Oh, this fell too. This goes in here. Um, and again, I could have divided more of that stuff out, but for now, that's how I'm going to leave it. I have some bigger items, which obviously won't fit in the drawers. I'm going to put my magic mesh in one of these. Another wood veneer for Christmas. Nope, a paper clip that I missed. Okay, so now we're getting into the nitty gritty, so... Do any of these have dividers left in them? Okay, so let's see what will fit in this one. Eyelets will fit. I have shaped eyelets, small eyelets, and big eyelets all in the same one currently. Uh, mainly because I just search through it when I need them. Um, it's not like I reach for them that often, but when I do for mini albums or for some certain projects, um, I don't mind searching through. It's not like I ever need a eye like quick or something like that, so. Do you guys still have eyelets? I know a lot of people got rid of them because no one uses them anymore. Um, but I do use them when I'm making my mini albums to secure the, um, reinforce the page holes. These are also very difficult to grab. Worse so than the wood veneer that I was complaining about earlier. Um, but if you guys remember in my really, really old videos, I had drawers like this. These same drawers were full with eyelets and things like that. Like there's a drawer that says eyelets, which theoretically... So like I said, I was going to take these out of the packaging. Um, my camera just cut off there. But I just realized that there's some wood veneer in here that kind of go with them. So I'm just going to leave these together for now. Maybe they'll just stay together in a kit or something. Um... Because I forgot they're like a little bundle, embellishment bundle from Ellie Studio. And then once these drawers are cleaned out, I'm going to clean these up because everything needs to be cleaned eventually. Um, which I hate cleaning, so. But at least everything will be newly organized. And hopefully this drawer system works out. If not, I'll be sure to tell you guys because we'll probably have another episode diving into this stuff again. Um, which I hope you guys don't mind, but I know sometimes it's a lot of trial and error trying to find something that works well for you. Um, and your crafting because we all work a little bit differently um, so if you love wood veneer maybe you want it close to your desk maybe this sort of solution is good for you but if you don't love wood veneer don't put it on your desk like I am 
it just won't be worth your while. These are letter brads. Um, I've used these at least once this year, so I'm going to keep them. I'm proud of that, actually, that I've used them. The hardest part is trying to find the letters you want, I think. It's the hardest part for me, at least. Um, so at least these fit in one section. And then I think I'm going to try to do these brads, which are kind of off camera, but um, I have a big bucket of brads here. A lot of large brads that I probably won't use. Like this one says nine months. I'm not going to ever scrapbook a picture like that soon. Um, kind of grabbing things I know I won't use. Like this one's an ABC chalkboard, like a school one. I don't really scrapbook school pictures that much. Um, so just trying to get rid of those things when you see them. Some of these are cute. Some of them are not my style anymore. I don't think I'll ever use a square brad again. I remember using those and they were so difficult the first time. But shaped brads are still really cool, so if you still use them, you're cool too. But if you don't use them, it's fine. <laughs> but they're really cool. <laughs> I don't know if they're all gonna fit. Like I said, I'm gonna get rid of these square ones, at least the larger square ones, because I know I won't really use them. And I'm just creating a little pile back there, things I'm gonna put in my giveaway or donate piles. Depending on what it is, it depends on if it goes in the donate or giveaway pile. Um, some of my used stuff will go to my local elementary school um, because I know they really like donations like that kind of stuff. Um, but it really depends on your area. There's a little pumpkin. Cute. And now that you guys see all this stuff that I have, you can yell at me to use it more often. Like, Caitlin, where are all those brads you put away? It's a win-win situation, I think. Because <laughs> you guys probably know that you have brides sitting around somewhere and that we need to use them. So we should probably get on that. This drawer is getting mighty full and I'm kind of scared, but we only have a couple left. Um, I do have this brand new package back here of brads, which I bought for a specific project, which I haven't done. And to be honest, I probably didn't need them because I still have a million brads. I just wanted uniform brads for that project. Um, so that's why they're all the same color. Um, and I bought those during the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. They were 75 cents, I mean. It's not like I bought every color they had. I only bought the one. I mean, that might have been the only color they had. I have no idea, but um, stuff like that I just kind of keep together for now because I know I have something in mind I want to use it for. That little drawer is done. Good. Okay, so I'm kind of not liking the setup as of right now for the wood veneer being in the middle. I almost think I want it in the top set of drawers instead, but... We'll come to that later. This is just empty packaging. Like I said, this stuff's going somewhere else. I'm going to make like a miscellaneous drawer now because I definitely have a lot of miscellaneous items. There's another wood veneer for Christmas and there's another rosette. So these ones are all full. This one's not. Okay. So I'm going to put these little tile guys in here. I haven't used these in a while, so I might end up getting rid of these by the end of the year. Um, if you guys watched the paper pad um, craft room cleanup episode, you guys know that I've been setting expiration dates for certain things. Um, and this might get an expiration date on it. Which is kind of sad because they're really cute. Um, like they're super cute. Some of them are kind of fading though, so that kind of makes me not want them anymore. But these are like, this is like my favorite shade of teal. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I don't think I've used them since I took them out of the drawer that they were originally in anyway. So that's kind of sad. But they're really cute. So we'll see. I'm sure you guys all have stuff like this too. Um, where you're attached to it because you've had it for so long. To be honest, I couldn't tell you where these came from. I assumed from a rack. Um, because I used to do a lot of swaps and stuff back then when more of this stuff was popular, like the charms and stuff, like these are all from people um, who I did swaps with. But, I don't know. Up front, maybe some of these buttons. These buttons are just from Studio Calico and they've just been laying around. <coughs> Sorry about that. I have some patches. I also have some rubber shapes. Just throw those in there. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, that one fits. I have this. Okay. There. And these are just page flags, which definitely don't need to go in here. And you know what? I haven't used a single one of these yet, so I'm just going to donate them. Those are actually for like cupcakes. Um, this doesn't go in here. It's just a little tag guy. You could probably just go in my tag section of my twirly, whirly thing here. Um, and then we have a paper clip. Okay, so we have some Scrabble letters here. We have uh, some tabs and paper punched items here and jewels left. So we have quite a few containers left, which is good. Um, to be honest, I don't use rhinestone jewels very often. I also have those DIY enamel dots in here, which I think I did a blog post on a while back, which is using like those perler beads um, and like a toaster oven, um, but I really don't recommend it. I think Nouveau drops and stuff like that are a lot safer option. The fumes from making, like melting these plastic beads were pretty gross, um, so I don't really recommend it. Um, and then some of these rhinestones were don not donated, were given to me by Susan. Susan sent me a package a while back. And they went in this little spot with my homemade um, enamel dots, which I've used a couple times, but there's like bubbles inside them and you can see them because they're like kind of clear, um, which I really don't like, but that's okay. Uh, more eyelets that have escaped. But I've used eyelets on that um, 30 Days of Thankful book, so book, mini book, I don't know what you want to call it. I also don't need a whole drawer for these, so I should have divided it with something else. Maybe I'll put the paper tabs in here. Also, there's some very tiny rhinestones, like very tiny. They keep getting stuck under my nails, <laughs> which is an atrocious feeling if you ask me. But at least I'm getting them picked up, right? This is a very poor drawer system for trying to find things too. Like this, this kind of drawer system is great for certain things. Like if you have tiny things to divide out by like color, perhaps. Um, and I have a couple, I think there's two drawers that are divided out like this in my drawer unit to my left under my desk, which I've shown in a couple videos now. Um, it's by Jess Ware. I think that's what it's by. But these divided drawers, which I have two of, are very difficult for me to use. Um, I've never been able to use them right. Um, this was the closest I've gotten to using them right, was dividing them in these little things that I just showed you that were in here. Um, but you can't move the dividers around and you can't do anything about it. It's just the, the size that they are and that's the size they're going to be. I'm actually collecting dust on my fingers from trying to grab all these bits. So if you guys are going to tackle your tiny embellishments uh, or things you want close to you, which is kind of the same thing for me, um, or similar stuff for me. I wonder how you're going to do it. I know this kind of drawer system can be very pricey. I recommend looking at places like Harbor Freight or another local like tool store. Um, that's definitely going to be the place you can find it. I'll try to find a similar option on Amazon. I'm sure nowadays they're probably made of full plastic um, instead of metal, which metal's a little more sturdy. So it really depends on what you're willing to pay as well. I need like my quick picker up tool, but I don't want to like lose the stickiness on it. Uh, so I think I'm going to try to find one of those dividers. Here's one. And I'm just going to put one in. Actually, I can probably go back here. If I can move all this stuff up enough. I might as well put them all on the way back because if I really want them, I'll come get them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Picking these up, and then I might be able to fit these in here, the Scrabble tiles, which, again, I've really wanted to use on a layout, but once you run out of letters, it's kind of pointless. Um, but I think I have some pictures of us playing Scrabble, so I think that'd be the prime opportunity to use these, or any of our game nights. We play a lot of games as a family, so I think putting these away will be good. The good news is I haven't dropped any of these drawers yet which I thought I would. And again, sorry, this is probably very loud, um, which I keep forgetting. Uh, I'm going to try to fix the audio for that, but I'm not an editing wizard yet, so we'll have to see how it turns out. And I really should have stacked these in here nicely instead of throwing them. But this is what we got going. Okay, well, that's going to need a lot of work to fit those. So I really didn't think that through. 
but at least we're making progress. Now I'm glad I have some empty slots left. Also, I don't think, I think I'm gonna sort these into my die cuts later because that's what they are essentially. Um, most of these are from K and Company, but some were just sent to me. Somebody had a paper punch that they punched out a bunch of pieces for me because I really like the certain shape, which is very sweet of them. Again, I don't think these might actually fit, so I might just set this drawer aside to finish it later. Um, so we're just gonna set that aside because I'm a little bit annoyed with it. And then set this aside, this drawer. I'm just kind of put it back where it was. And then I'll figure out what I'm gonna put in there later because that's gonna be a whole thing too. So we do have some drawers left. Now, some of these bigger drawers I thought I was gonna use for other things, but now that I think about it, other things that I might wanna keep on my desk are kinda of in those other blue drawers which are right behind um, this unit, which you guys have seen in some videos. But I have some washi tape still that needs to go somewhere. Especially these bigger ones I need to find a home for. And then these are like all my dollar store washi tapes on these really, really tiny ones. Which again, aren't the best quality, but they do the job. So they'll kind of fit right here next to them. Maybe in a, oh, I forgot about that big one too. Oh, I thought they'd be able to stack, but we're just gonna have to lay them down. Which again, is perfectly fine. Um, I'm glad they just all fit in one area. I mean, there's still some in my desk drawers, <laughs> which is kind of disappointing, but I could move them into here, so maybe we'll do that. I don't know yet. Uh, there we go. Got a couple more. That one's kind of big, so I should probably stand it up instead. Oops. The only thing about washi tape is if you stand it up like this, and it's not like tightly in there. It will just fall over um, eventually. So that part's kind of annoying. Okay. So that drawer's kind of good. Hoping it closes. It should close fine. Maybe not. Oh, it goes down here. Okay, so we have two drawers of washi tape so far. Um, like I mentioned, I do have some washi tape behind here in this drawer. Um, which, if I really took some of this out, a lot of this is Christmas and Halloween. Um, and then also washi tapes I don't use, like this one. Which is absolutely beautiful, but I don't use it. So, maybe I should pull out this drawer as well. And try to fit more washi tape. Because, I gotta start using it, guys. I mean, I use it on every single layout, almost. Um, but, that's not enough sometimes. As you guys probably know. And I like having my washi tape kind of in front of me because it does inspire me to use it more. But that's just maybe a me thing. Okay, and then we'll do some thin ones on top. And again, I have Christmas mixed in here as well, so... Uh, it's going to be like hit or miss for what's in each bucket. Maybe I could sort them by color, but that also sounds like a lot of work. And that might not actually pay off in the end. Um, so... Just be aware of the time you're putting into this project and make sure you're getting enough stuff out of it for yourself. Um, you don't want to spend all this time organizing and then not get anything out of it. So I'm going to pull out some of these Christmas ones to save me some time. I'll put them in my Christmas pile over here. And some of them are not super Christmassy, but Christmassy enough. Like this one says Merry Christmas. Like, okay, that one's got to go. But snowflakes wouldn't have to go, but I'm just going to put them over there. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This one's absolutely beautiful, but I know I won't use it. Um, as well as this lime green one and this pink and orange one, which I have a lot of trouble using um, when there's multicolored washi tapes, as well as this heart one. And again, these will probably go in racks because washi tape's pretty great to gift. I'm not going to lie. Love getting the gift of washi. Okay, so now that we're in these shorter drawers, um, you're going to have to stack the washi tape. I hope I'm not off camera. which again is fine by me. Um, as long as you find the ones that are smaller, you can kind of stack them inside of each other, which saves room in the long run. Or put them off to the side. The shorter ones do often fit to the side. That one's not going to fit there. Um, this one. So fit there. Okay, so that was an awful noise. Sorry about that again. 
So we have three more empty drawers and then the one I still have to put away, which is over here. And then we have this washi tape left. And then I also have like an exile washi tape drawer, which again, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna put in these drawers after I get them emptied. Um, but this drawer has some exile washi tape, which to be honest, I think I'm just gonna get rid of uh, most of it. I thought that like had issues, but it's like, it just gathered dust, which is kind of gross. Um, I'm going to get rid of most of these. I will not use them. I haven't reached them for them in a while. So nothing like a good washi tape purge. So I just got rid of like 10 washi tapes, which is good. So now these drawers are empty. Which the problem with these drawers, um, which are right underneath my tripod, is that I couldn't pull out the bottom set of drawers because I'd be filming right here. And then like my stuff would be in the way. So I have this many washi tape left to put away. Um, like I said, I do have some Christmas stuff in here which I could easily swap out. Now that I look in here, I don't see any Christmas in here. So, oh no, this one's very wintry. Which again, all my winter papers go with my Christmas papers. So that's sort of a thing that I do. Um, and actually this drawer might be able to stack some of the thinner washi tape on top. So that one fit, this one also fits, this one fits. So for now, I'm not allowed to buy any more washi tape. That's 100% true. Will I buy more washi tape? Probably. Okay, this one's having issues. There. All my washi tape fits. Now that's just the washi tape that's out. I do have some in kits right now, as well as some some other places. So that's kind of bad, but it's okay. Other things I want on, up here next to my desk. I've been thinking about it and there's not too much. I thought about moving my stitching supplies up here, which I definitely could. I believe this could easily have been done for stitching. Actually, I think my mother used to use this as a sewing cabinet to keep all the sewing supplies in, like the needles and stuff. But like, I don't have that many of these. And again, this is the same system that my wood veneer were in. Um, so if we just take a look, I bet you all of these would fit in one up here. And it is really annoying to get up to go get my stitching supplies. <laughs> um, and since I have some empty drawers, I might as well. Um, and these are all ones that I put on. I bought one of those mega kit things from like, I think it was AC Moore with a coupon. No, it was Joanne's. Um, so they kind of go together in some sort of order. That one doesn't really fit. So stuff like this goes in here. So like I said, I have three left, so maybe I could do, and we'll do greens, which I have a bunch over here, and this one too. Oh boy, I have to fold this one a little bit so it fits better. That one came pre-packaged from the, um, it came with the kit that I bought to stitch. Um, and that one has a needle still in it, so that's kind of concerning. That's okay, it's one of the favorite colors to stitch with. So that makes sense. I'll go into blues. Um, and if I consolidated some of these drawers, like I said, I don't really need washi tape in this small drawer. Um, so I'm going to probably set some expiration dates for my washi tape um, because I obviously don't need it all. Um, I don't know if this is actually going to fit properly unless they really lean back either. So let's see if it goes in well. My guess is no. They just kind of pop out a little bit, which is quite annoying to me, um, but I also like the idea of having it really close by. So, we'll see how that goes. I also have like three of every color and I definitely need to get rid of some of these. So that's what I'm going to do actually. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of repetitive colors, which, I mean, it's not like the best quality um, thread. I have them on DMC uh, dividers, but that's not, the brand it is. I just bought those. And I don't think two of each is a bad number. Um, or even three of each. If you have a lot, it's fine. I'm not shaming you or anything. Please don't think I am. Uh, I just personally don't need this much stash. I've realized I can survive on very little crafting supplies and still make very beautiful pages in my opinion. Um, so. I think that's what I'm going to do. 
And then I have all the extra pieces, which I think will actually go with the... So I'll probably have a little bin to put all of my stitching like supplies in, like my mat and my ticket or bobs and my piercer, which is here. And then whatever this is, this is a bobby pin. I don't know why I have that in here. <laughs> Where did I just put that other drawer off? Oh, and then hopefully the neutrals all fit in the same one. So that'll fill up my drawer system pretty much. I have another needle in this one. This one's actually DMC floss. I also kind of like how aesthetically pleasing this is right now. Um, really, really excited about that. I'm going to put these ones that aren't fully um, wrapped yet out of here as well. And bend this one. I think black's a color that you should keep a lot of. Um, at least that makes sense to me. I don't know why I only have one white. But I'm going to donate these ones or rack those ones because I've got to share the wealth. Uh -huh. So, those are done. I think I'll do neutrals. And again, try to lay them down flat so they don't disrupt the hole. And then we'll do reds, pinks, oranges, yellows. And then blues, greens, and purples. Which again, they have a little bit of trouble going in and out, but again, if it saves me having to get up, I'll probably like it better in the long run. And again, I'm going to test this stuff out and then tell you guys. If it doesn't work, I'll be back with another video for sure. Um, that's just how I tend to work. But I think we did a great job with this. Um, maybe I'll try tipping it over and then giving you an overview of what's in each drawer. Just so you guys have the idea at the end here of what I put in each one. And again, could definitely change. Although I'm afraid some of the stuff may fall out. So I think I'm just going to tip it like this. Okay, at least you can see the drawers. First three up here are all stitching, embroidery threads, so neutrals, yellows through oranges and reds, pinks, purples, no, this one all says pinks, purples, blues, and greens. Here's where the scrabble tiles and rhinestones are going to go uh, temporarily. Flare, resin flowers, resin pieces, eyelets, brads, and my brad letters. Washi tape, which that'll end up going. This is my magic mesh. Wood veneer, flowers, birds, and butterflies. Wood veneer, flowers, nature -y leaves. Again, this is why I need labels. Uh, bugs, cats, dogs. Food. <laughs> random. This is the random pile, which includes those tile letters and those uh, rubber shapes and patches. Numbers, banners, and arrows, words. Stars, hearts, cameras, and icons. Large wood veneer, washi tape, washi tape, metal, washi tape. Wow, that's a lot. But if this is within arm's reach, I can sort of reconsolidate my um, rotating cart that's over here. You can kind of see it down here, I think. No, it's this one. This is my rotating um, shelving unit. And I just realized there's more washi tape over there, which means I definitely have to purge some more. And I have to figure out how this drawer is going to work because it keeps getting stuck. So yeah, definitely going to have to purge some more, which I already have some ideas of which ones I want to purge, like this one's going to go. Um, ones with words on them I have really trouble using. Um, I don't know why exactly, but now I have to also figure out how this is going to open again because I think I broke it. So we'll have to revisit that another day, but we're on our way to getting our goals in check by keeping this on my desk. It will take up more room on my desk, and I know one of my things was to have enough room on my desk, which, again, I have a lot of crap on my desk right now. If you guys saw my desk right now, you'd probably be like, wow, she's got a lot of stuff on her desk right now. Um, but that's just the way I work. If I'm near things, I'll use them sort of thing. So that's just where we're at right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Craft Room Cleanup. Let me know what you guys would keep in a container like this, because maybe I'm forgetting something that's obvious to you guys. It might not be obvious to me, because I'd really want to include the things that you guys think I should include. And I'll probably also reorganize the washi tape within this. I just don't have a system right now. Like I said, I don't do by color, mainly because it will, you know, always reach for the same drawer sort of thing. Um, and I really want to have like, if I see that like, oh, that actually matches, that multicolored one actually matches the thing I'm working on, that sort of thing will work better for me. And also, do I have enough washi tape, guys? The answer is yes, too much washi tape. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's craft room cleanup. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And again, leave me some suggestions down below of what you guys want to see next. And if you have any suggestions for what I should put in here. Because 
I had this once before and then I didn't like it for some reason, but I don't remember why I didn't like it. It was a while ago though, so something had to uh, happen that I didn't really like it. But I also like that I can stack stuff on top of this. I do have to find the other foot to this because there's something wrong with it for being so wobbly. Um, so I gotta figure out a solution to that as well. But that's it again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!